So last video, we made the bottom cylinder head for the valve body. And this video, we're going to make the top cylinder head. Now the top cylinder head is way easier. I mean, not way easier. The other one was very hard. But the top cylinder head is much easier <clears throat> because um, <clears throat> it doesn't have a stuffing box to deal with. So we literally just need to... Um, make the head and drill the holes there's there's no bore for the uh, packing or anything like that so I got this scrap I got that who knows what I used it for last time but we gotta face all this away and then I'll um, uh, actually yeah this one can't have a hole going through it because uh, because there's no shaft so Hmm, I might have to get another piece of scrap. So I'm just facing it off to get rid of this hole so it doesn't go all the way through. And, uh, and we'll see how good it looks. Okay, so I just flipped it over and uh, this side will work way better. So we're going to face this off. Then we're going to turn this shoulder down to a little couple thou less than an inch and a quarter. see where we landed here. I filed that corner off because my micrometer is getting on the edge and I don't want the burr to affect anything. Alright, so that's that's 3 thou under 250. It's exactly what I want. So, this guy should fit pretty nice. Perfect. So let's, uh, let's clean up this back face a little bit. Perfect. All right, now this one I might have to finagle a little bit. So, as you can see, this side is a little off center, and that's because it's very, very difficult to line up a rough casting this long that you need to bore through. Um, you know, if you're off just by a little bit, 
that error is going to be am it's going to be uh, amplified over this distance. Uh, it's like an error leverage. So I did the best I could, but I still couldn't get it right on the money. So what's going to happen is this head is probably going to have to be a little smaller. So if I put this here, get this junk off this. If I put this here. You can see that right here it's kind of see that that's the edge of the head and that's the edge of the casting it's going over it a little bit then it kind of goes under it over here um, I don't mind the over, the under it look but I don't want that sticking out so I'm actually going to take uh, I don't know just enough off to where this doesn't stick out in the, uh, out of any of the edges so I'm going to do that off camera and then uh We'll go from there. All right, I just took one cut of uh, 30 thou off the diameter, and it's pretty good now. Um, it's sticking out just a teeny little bit, but I think it'll be okay. And uh, so now, uh, I'm going to take this out, and we're going to flip it around, and I think we might just face all of this big chunk off. We'll try to part it off. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, so uh, I just parted down to here, and then I did the rest with the uh, bandsaw. So let's just clean this up. That's pretty close. Okay, so just like the last one, uh, we're going to profile this to be like a rounded corner with a file. So this is really close to the chuck, and uh, this is a dangerous thing to do, and you probably shouldn't even do this, but I'm going to do it. Um, you don't want to do something like this, okay, where the end of the file is like that, because one tweak to the side, and boom, this jaw is hitting it, and you're going flying back. Um, so you want the file to be way ahead of the jaw so there's no way you can be shot back so let's do that see now I can get right up to it okay that looks pretty good all right, so <clears throat> we're going to do what I did in the previous other videos to spot these holes. Um, so we'll start there. Uh, I've just eyeballed this punch to be right on the edge. And we're going to go over 231 thousandths to get to the diameter we want. So <clears throat> let's see here. One hundred, two hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, one. Right about there. That looks about right. So uh, let's get our hammer here. We'll just do a little tap on the back. All right, and then I'll uh, pull out the pin here on the bull gear. And this is going to be six hole patterns, so and there's 30 holes on the bull gear. So we're going to go over, um, or there's 60 holes, so we're going to go over 10 holes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.
Alright, and I'm just going to keep doing that uh, off camera. Okay, we're at the drill press. I got this in the vise. And uh, we're just going to drill some holes through this. Got the uh, <clears throat> valve body on. I'm gonna line up the holes where I want. And uh, oh, hold on, we're gonna use this transfer punch. this and again because even though it's cast iron I like to use lubricants down and we're gonna drill and tap th through these holes that way this thing doesn't move around and all the holes can be perfect Alright guys, there it is. And again, I think I'm going to just put studs and hex nuts up here. Um, so I think that turned out pretty good despite the hole being a little bit off center. It's kind of hard to tell. <clears throat> um, down here, I, um, I put some studs. Uh, we're going to put the stuffing box on this. <clears throat> and then after, after the stuffing box, we are we're done with the with the top end of the engine like we will be we will be done pretty much now we didn't make any of the gaskets yet um, and I think I'm going to put studs and nuts right here just because it'll look way better um, yeah we didn't make any gaskets yet but yeah stuffing box is, is next that's going to finish the top half of the engine or the top end and then we'll make the uh, crosshead guide that's going to be a nice big fun casting to make and hopefully pretty simple it's just going to require a boring for this to, to travel in and uh... yeah so that's pretty much it this thing is really coming together um, and uh... i'll see you next time guys thanks for watching <laughs>